be trusted. Hey everyone, welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time we made it to the asylum gate, but unfortunately we can't get in. Apparently the milkman has the key, and the security guard's too wrapped up in his conspiracy theories to tell us where that guy is. Someone moved into my neighborhood uninvited. They come, they whisper, they watch, they chop, chop, chop. Yeah, there's something wrong with his mind, as you can probably you tell. Puppet masters of, uh, the freaky hunchback girl who loves brains so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the, the only bad way bad we're bad. gonna get to any kind of straight answer is to go inside his mind and get it for ourselves. It's perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now, which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry, um... Uh... I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Uh, are controlled by the five richest families in the country in order to monopolize exactly what nobody knows. Yep, he's still here, still uh, spouting his theories. Know, they... So they may as well just grab the figments that are around. The analyticals, man. Hey, uh, where's the door? On the front, like most refrigerators. Hey, uh... Yeah, as he implies, there's no way to get out of this room. But fortunately, he did point us to the refrigerator, and we're gonna get something pretty cool inside. The fluoride producers! Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know where the milkman is. It's a new merit badge. Which I'll just grab with telekinesis. Yeah, clairvoyance doesn't have a whole lot of practical applications, but it can be fun to use. And it is the only way we're going to get out of this room. With the backing of, uh, the five richest families in the country. So let's see what things look like through his eyes. Milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. One of my nostril hairs. No, no, wait, I mean... Huh? The doctor's back at the clinic. Oh, oh. Yeah, so we can use clairvoyance on anyone at any time, but a lot of the time we're just going to appear as question marks if somebody doesn't see us as anything in particular. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Okay. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Welcome to the world of the Milkman Conspiracy. Most people's favorite level in the game, for very good reason. 
unfortunately, it's probably not quite as interesting to watch as it is to play through. And it's not quite as interesting to play through as it is to watch. There are a whole bunch of figments here, and there's a giant area for them to be in. So a lot of the time... Oh. Normally getting stuck on the edges isn't that much of a problem. But I want to be as diligent as possible in collecting the figments here, because if you miss one, it can be impossible to figure out where it is. Meanwhile, we'll just start moving down the street here, surrounded by familiar objects... Hey, are you following me? ...that behave suspiciously. Everything's got eyes, and like Boyd hey, said, are you following me? everything is watching us. A lot of them don't know what we're supposed to look like. But if we really want to deal with them, we can get rid of these things. They don't actually hurt you. They just kind of take pictures of you from time to time. We can toss it off the edge of the world. Falling off does cost an entire astral projection layer, though, so you gotta be careful. And this flamingo in the backyard is kinda interesting. It's pretty much the only thing in this level, and actually a large portion of the game, that sees Raz as himself. Almost missed a figment. And the worst part is you can go inside the houses and this still counts as part of the same scene. So if you look at how many figments you've got left to collect, it covers everything that we're going to be seeing. House interiors, house exteriors, everything in the street. Just watch. It's going to be huge. So I want to make sure to grab every figment as I go, go inside every house, just so that I won't have to go back later. And this car's got something in the trunk. It's a stop sign. Hmm. I'm not getting anything. I must be out of range or something. Yeah, the stop sign is sort of a unique item. We'll find out what it's for in just a bit. Meanwhile, more figments. Yep. It's kind of interesting to see what figments are inside each of the houses. This one's just got some furniture in it. And the houses can be a little confusing to navigate, but there are only, I think, two layouts for the interior of any house, so once you get used to them, you can always find your way back to the door. Now here's an interesting feature. I'm gonna avoid the yellow line for the moment, and go deal with this house. One of the hardest parts of collecting all the figments here is that if there are figments inside the house, you have to go in to see them. So you can't even just run down the street and keep your eyes open. And the figment behind this cobweb... There's just one guy in the house. Looks like he's eating something. So, road construction. Stop. Road crew workers only beyond the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, road crew only. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through. Sorry. These guys are obviously Stop. spies in disguise. You are not on the road crew. Come with us. Why are you looking for the milkman? What's in the milk? Who is the milkman? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? How did you move that trash can? 
We don't lose an astral projection layer for getting caught, but we can't get through as we are. Fortunately, their disguises are pretty simple. They're just holding red signs. Why don't you come in here and do that, tough guy? Well, there are different things we can try to fight our way past. That, tough guy. Could set them on fire. Look at that woman's breasts. I am on fire. I am uncomfortable. Initiating countermeasures. They've got sprinklers to protect themselves from fire. So I can just sneak past invisible. Please, sir. We have come with us. Who is the milkman? What is the purpose of the goggles? What's your favorite color? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? How did you move that trash can? So, rather obviously, what we need to do is disguise ourselves. I am on the road crew. Dangerous this is my stop ahead. sign. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. See, now he sees me as a member of the road crew because I've got a red sign. That's all it takes to get past these guys without getting caught. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Of course, it is kind of dangerous. Don't want to fall again. And we still can't fight these guys. Might come with us. Who is the milkman? Why are you here? Do you serve the milkman? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? How did you move that trash can? All right, I'm gonna try not to get caught again. Let's just proceed through the road work area. And once we're on the far side, we don't need to keep the sign out anymore. Here's another. This is a restricted area. Obviously. This is my stop sign. We have no use for road work here. What is that guy doing? Stop. This is a restricted area. I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Please stay back. There is a severe electrocution danger. And each of those yellow lines requires a different prop for us to disguise ourselves and get past. This is my job obsolete. This is my job to work on the phone lines. That's strange. So I'm just gonna pop into this house that I almost passed. Especially important because there's a luggage tag on it. And I certainly don't want to miss any luggage, even though I'm pretty much destined to miss figments. You never get them all in one pass. And I always open the fridge in every house just to mark that, yes, I have been in here and searched it thoroughly for figments. It's a lady doing something or other. And just past the phone repairman, there's a guy trimming hedges. I'm just gonna walk through, okay? I cannot let someone near my hedges who has not been properly trained in the use of the trimmers. So we'll need hedge trimmers to get past him. Operator. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. We have no use for road work here. That's the proper use of the hedge trimmers, all right. Shoving them down your throat. Conversation that I want, but do not because of my sense. Yeah, there are some more of these cars around the neighborhood. Most of them just have arrowheads in the trunks. Who's in there? Well, we can use our disguise items on them. This is my stop sign. Hey, you in the car. Stop and exit the vehicle, please. I like the responses. And I forgot that punching the car would open the trunk. Once it's open, you can't use any items on it anymore. But, oh well. Yes, I just gotta move on and find another car to use more stuff on once I've got more stuff to use. Find a whole lot of plants in these houses, a couple of people here and there. Sometimes there'll be stuff up on the counter. Might be hidden behind the figment counter or your arrowhead counter. Hello, sir. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, 
but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah! Creepy man! Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! Yeah, the little rainbow squirt seems to see me as a milk thief. Ow! I'm only trying to make money for our organization, sir! Let me down or I'll scream for the police! I don't know, it's kind of tricky to feel guilty for these girls. You'll see what I mean later. I don't know what's in the trunk of that car, but I'm going to leave it closed just so I can use disguise items on it later. This house appears to have antennas just sitting in the backyard. That's weird. Why so many? Well, they got a nice comfy chair in front of the TV, so maybe it's the house of someone who really likes to watch TV. Like, all the channels or something. Alright. Doesn't look like I missed any figments in there. And here's another bunch of spies of the restricted area. We're not going to mess with them either. They're working on the sewer, and I don't have any disguise for a sewer worker. I think I might be able to jump somewhere from here, but I'm just going to keep going straight down the street. But it must be before. At least for the moment, I want to make sure I'm covering everything. And these guys don't have their cordon blocking the entire road. The sewers are not safe for civilians, and they smell very bad. So all I got to do is walk past on the sidewalk outside of their little area, and I'm perfectly safe. I can grab the cobweb that's guarding that hat box, but I don't have the tag for it, and I'm not going to be able to get it for a long time. This is a spot that's really easy to jump over. And I got one of the most useless power-ups in the game! My telekinesis goes farther, or perhaps I can grab things from farther away. I don't know and don't really care. I think that plant in the back is just a figment. And it's the only one in the house. <laughs> and here we are, we finally found the cemetery. Why? Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, we widows are busy grieving in here. Stop. This is a restricted area. So those guys have flowers to disguise themselves as grieving widows. Naturally, we gotta get flowers. We got a giant list of items we gotta find. Boo -hoo. Meanwhile, we can at least go around the outside of the graveyard, and we find our first vault. And the wrecking ball comes in handy for once. So the milkman burning up in a department store fire was an allusion to when Boyd got fired from his job as a security guard at Hernando's department store and burned it down with Molotov cocktails made from milk bottles. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. For some reason, I think I usually have that tag when I first get here. 
And you gotta be careful rolling because the land kind of slopes downwards towards the edge. And it will send you falling to your doom more often than not. I am alone now. So time to move on to the final street. I am and yet another cordoned off area. I use it on the plants to water them. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Unless you have water for my plants, then we have no use for you in here. So many disguise items I'm gonna need. Plants need to have water poured on them because they have no hands to hold glasses of water. It is I love their lines, though. The incidental dialogue in this area is just amazing. So here we find a lovely garden. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is walk around the outside. Because there's one hidden thing out here. And the camera loves to change suddenly. Well, just put me at the beginning of that same street, so... I don't have too far to go. And I'll take it carefully and kind of press my face against the wall the whole time. Just to make absolutely sure I'm not falling off. Of course, that does mean that I get caught on the walls more often than not. But if you take it slow and steady, one or two steps at a time, you can make it around and get probably one of the hardest figments to get in the entire mind here. If you're just missing one, that's usually the one. And at this point, if I fall off, yeah, I lose an astral projection layer, but I get to keep the figment, so it's not that big a deal. Still, I made it back safely, and behind this fence, there is the bouquet of flowers we need to get into the graveyard. The only problem is, we have to find a way in. And it's just solid bars on that side. Over on this side, there's a little gate that opens as we approach it, and a crow. Seen any suspicious characters around here lately? <laughs> And it leaves behind a feather. We've got another one like it back in the real world. And we can use clairvoyance to see through the eyes of the owner of the feather. In this case, the crow. So let's get a crow's eye view of this garden. There I am over on the right side. And when I walk back out through the gate, that gate closes. Well, I didn't notice that it had opened. So when I open the gate on the right side, the one in the middle opens, and all I need to do is leave without closing the little gate. So I'll open it, and then jump over. It's not a very tricky puzzle if you've got the hang of clairvoyance, and you figured out that you can walk through that gate. I've seen people have a lot of problems with that puzzle. Anyway, there's a lot more street, but we don't need to worry about it just yet. We can get into the graveyard and accomplish our objectives, so why not? I am a grieving widow. I am your sister in grief. Yep. I'm certainly a grieving I see widow. That you are grieving. I will give you your space. I love the fact that all the figments in the graveyard are zombies. Including this one that's still rising from the grave. Flowers are a token of my remembrance for my loved one. I am a grieving widow. I am your sister in grief. Hmm. This must be the milkman's grave. But it's completely overgrown with vines. How am I going to get in there? Well, fortunately, those vines look pretty dry. Yes! I wish Burn. my loved one was not Man, dead, but I alive. Hope no one notices all this fire. I am sad. I wish my loved one had remembered to indicate me as the beneficiary of his 401k plan. And this door is cracked, so we can just break it down. Boo. -boo. And there's the a book. Is with dead people. Well, I want to be careful about going in and grabbing it. Don't want anyone to catch me with it, but telekinesis doesn't work.
What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go, because they think we'll think we know they know we know, so we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! Now hang on a second. The tuna canneries. Do you have a real one of these? Like the kind that shoots bullets? Give a loaded gun to a ten-year-old? Do I look crazy to you? The suits. The I am a. Stop being crazy and tell me where the milkman is. Oh, oh, you think I'm crazy? What if I'm the only one who's sane? That guy with the eye patch, who are merely the pawns of. Yeah, no matter what I'm carrying, he doesn't see me as anything but question marks. We're dialing in widow. through the. Are these a clue? Flowers to put on the grave of the truth. For those who mourn the loss of democracy, the president's brother, who are the puppet masters Yeah, of his conspiracy theories get wilder and wilder. Anyway, we've got to walk all the way back to where we were because I didn't find any teleport worms. Not a through street. And I think there are only two of them here. I am sorry for your loss. It's fake. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are going to make the fun of me. You are a cold-blooded killer, but it takes all kinds to make a world. Yep, that's a cold-blooded killer, all right. Rests. They're large. I am on the road Hello, crew. fellow road crew worker. Sign. Welcome to the road crew. This level gets really annoying when you have to backtrack a lot because you have to keep switching items to get through all these areas. Fortunately, most of them don't block the entire width of the road. Testing. It's really just the road crew, and once you've gotten through the sewers, there's an item you'll have to use for that. Eh. Let's... Oop. Didn't intend to use a dream fluff. Let's show this car some of my other new items. Okay. Come out of the car right now or I'll shoot! I am a grieving widow. Hey, come out of there! I have some flowers for you! I am a grieving widow. I am a grieving widow. That's nice. Creep. Yeah, we do want to find out who's inside that car, but we're not going to be able to do it with any of the items we've got right now. So let's just go back to where that garden was and keep going down the street. We're going to need to find a plunger so we can get into the sewer, of course. And next up is another house with a car in the driveway. Or rather, a car-shaped figment. And this is where we could have jumped to from that house earlier. It can be a handy shortcut, but it really doesn't cut much off your trip. And if you're trying to collect all the figments, you certainly don't want to skip any of the houses in between. And next up, another house with another car in the driveway. I think that might be the one with the disguise item in the trunk. I know there's one more trunk that's got something in it that I need. I'll worry about that when I'm done inside the house. There's the duffel bag tag. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I probably go into all the houses first when I usually play the game. Then go back to the cemetery. And that car was just arrowheads. I think it's the other car, the one that I left closed, it has got a disguise item in it. 
Well, I have to get it eventually, but Got it. I'll leave that until last. So at least I can use whatever items I've gotten before on it. And the antenna figments on the roofs particularly, I think, are some of the hardest to spot. Because they're made up of really thin lines, and you know, they fade in and out. Plus, they're two-dimensional, so sometimes even if you're looking straight at them, they're completely invisible. Wait a sec. This is the way I came from. This way is progress. And we've just got one more house, and then that official-looking building over there. As usual, just... More figments. You can probably tell this level is a completionist's nightmare. And this is the second of the three notorious areas that I mentioned before. The race in Mia's dance party is notable just because it's got so many figments that are only worth one point each. This is a huge area with lots of interior scenes. And one more coming up much Excuse later. Me, so we've got a car, and I know this trunk has something I need. There's the watering can. I can get into that house down the end of this street. And around behind the building. Got more figments. I can hear a piece of baggage crying. I think it might be on the roof. So I'll just pop up there and take a look. No baggage, but some figments and a whole bunch of mailboxes. This building is the post office. And you can probably tell that it's going to be central to our investigation. But it looks like security is pretty high. There's a keypad out front. And we've probably done enough for now, so join me next time for the conclusion of The Milkman Conspiracy.